I'm gonna get blown out. Oh, you hit me. No! Oh, you got it. We're, alright, we're definitely getting better. Let's play something else after this. Yeah. Howdy, Asa. Uh, say hello to Levi not being a dingwad and getting not enough sleep because he's back. Pew, pew. I had to get enough sleep for my midterm today, so I did. I feel a lot better. Sorry, the videos have been kind of bad recently. But anyway, so apparently Fridays is now the day I show weird technological science-y things because I finally started learning how to CAD things, and it's really freaking cool. All right, so before we look at CAD, I wanna show a picture I drew a fair while back that I wanna make into a thing. This is a difference engine, and long story short, it can calculate tables of math math mathematical values. Blah, blah, blah. Um, and so I drew this, because it's kind of the design I wanted to make. It's just cool, because it's got a lot of gears. And anyway, I've been trying to figure out how to make it, how to 3D print it, uh, and I've never quite known how I should make it. But then, I learned that CAD is better than Google SketchUp, and I now have this. Which, if I can shift... I've got this. Look at it. The outside there is a hexagon, a hexagon with 10 sides, so it's a decagon. Um, which is, where did Asa go? Oh, he's decagon. Ha, <laughs> ha, I'm funny. Anyway, uh, so what this gear is going to end up doing is keeping track of a numeral value between 0 and 9. Uh, and so each of the flat edges here is one of those numbers. So maybe this will correspond to 0. This one will correspond to one, two, three. You can imagine that being pretty simple. And then you've got all kinds of gear stuff that I'm not going to go into detail until I've got printed models because they'll be easier to explain stuff with. But long story short, I can now design this much better than I was before and make it easier to work with. Um, and the cool thing about CAD I'm learning is that it's much more adjustable. So for instance, when I made this piece originally, it was a cylinder. So the inside here is a circle, as you can see. And the outside was originally also a circle. Um, and instead of having to go back and do a lot of work to change it to become a decagon, I was actually able to just kind of go into the files and say, hey, uh, do you remember that circle I made? Could you just make it a decagon instead? And it said, yep, I can do that. And that's amazing. Um, that's really amazing. So if I'm being honest, I don't really know what I'm doing with CAD, um, but I'm starting to figure it out. I'm starting to get a feel for it. My friend Avi uh, spent an hour with me just helping me design that part uh, so I get a sense of how one creates things. Um, it's definitely different than SketchUp. It's, de it's definitely better than SketchUp. Um, and I think it'll be really cool once I get this thing rolling uh, because I guess that must have always been my problem before now that I think about it is that whenever I did projects with more and more parts, uh, they were less and less likely to work um, because in SketchUp you kind of have to guess and, and anyway in this one it's easier to change an individual part and that'll cascade through all your pieces uh, but also it helps you figure out better how they all fit together in the end product um, I'm really excited to learn this and I'm really excited to see if I can't get a project rolling with it and that is my video today updating you on the fact that Levi is learning CAD and super excited about it anyway Asa um, I cannot wait to see you on Monday morning and I hope until then, and I guess then on, and all the times before now, it's going well.